everyone, welcome to this week's vlog. I didn't come into contact with a lot of birds this week. I did see this cardinal chewing on some seeds, as well as this blue jay that was hanging out near an abandoned beaver lodge. The pond that surrounds this beaver lodge has dried up. It does this every year. I always wondered, do the beavers leave or stay in this lodge? So I decided to put in a trail camera and see what happens. As I suspected, no beavers showed up in front of my trail camera, but I did see this raccoon who showed up two consecutive nights. And the reason this didn't surprise me is that I saw this raccoon at the same time last year. You can actually see it in this video I created last year. I can only assume that this guy or gal is going to have to leave pretty soon because the wetland is starting to gain its water back. And soon this guy, unless he likes to swim, will be flooded out of the burrow. As you can see, the returning waters scare up all sorts of insects that were inhabiting this temporarily dry soil. Some of these insects are unlucky enough to get caught and they end up drowning. Others even saw my shoes as a potential refuge and they swarmed over them. My legs were actually itching right after I filmed here. Even with the cooler weather of this time of year, pollinators are trying to get that last bit of nectar. As with any other resource, pollinators have to fight for real estate. Here you can see this small fly being pushed aside by this massive wasp. These striking red wasps were all over this flower, and they're not just fighting against different pollinators, they're fighting amongst each other. I was actually a little bit of afraid of being stung, getting this close to film these really striking animals. Even inside our very homes, insects are on the hunt for nutrients. Here you can see I'm in the middle of doing a mold time lapse, and this ant actually comes along on the tip of my microscope, drinking the water from the moist piece of cloth I'm using to hydrate this fungus. As you can see in this video, the banana peel started forming these really cool chains, these pearl-like necklaces of spores, a day after I filmed last week's video. I've set my sights on a rotting strawberry, so prepare yourselves for that in next week's video. As I said last week, I've started doing mushroom time lapses. Just like doing time lapses with plants, these mushrooms often refuse to cooperate with my filming schedule. Sometimes they just refuse to grow. But so far, I've gotten a bit of progress, and as the weather is getting cooler and less and less pleasant, the mushrooms will get more and more numerous. So I promise you, I'll have more mushroom time lapses for you coming up. All right, that's about it. Once again, if you guys wanna see more cool nature videos, just check out the videos on my YouTube channel, or check out my Instagram to see some really cool nature pictures. That's about it. See you all next week.